talking about the fantastic flying books of Mr. Morris Westmore. Today's lesson will consist of sequence of events. Our objective is students will place the major events of the story in sequence. As you can see, my major events are underlined in red. Now, our first major event of the story is a big storm destroys Morris's life and all of his stories, which are his books. As you can see in the book, we have Morris. His house has been turned upside down and everything and all of his books, the pages, the letters have been scattered. Our second major event is Mars finds a building that is filled with books. But prior to him finding this building with books, he comes across a lovely lady. Now, the smaller boxes that you see here in my diagram, those are the character contributions of, of the minor characters in this story. Now, this is where Mars finds a lovely lady. As you can see, when Mars finds the lovely lady, Mars is gray, but the lovely lady is in color. The reason for this is because all of Mars' books were destroyed in the storm. So he's gray. Now, as you can see, the lovely lady has a lot of books. And she's happy and she's excited. So she's full of color. After Morris finds the lovely lady, the lovely lady lays Morris a book that leads him to the building that's in the second major event. The book that she Lance Morris is the book of Humpty Dumpty. Now we're up to our second major event, which Morris finds a building filled with books. This is Morris going into that building. Now, as you can see, Morris is still gray. Next, a book will fly up to Mars. And it lands on his own. This leads us to our third major event. In this, Mars is in the building now. And we see that Mars has color. His color has come to light. He's full of color because he's in a place where there are a lot of books and Mars likes to read. Now, from the three major events we've talked about, we can infer that Mars is actually in a library. In the context of the book, it does not say that he's in a library, they just say it's a building. But by the different context clues and the illustrations in the book, it leads us to know that it's actually a library. All right, so Morris is taking care of the books. Right here in our picture, we see that he's taping the books, the torn pages, and repairing the covers to the book. Which leads us to our next contribution, 
which Mora shares the books with the people that are in the town. In our picture, we see, again, Mars, his color is vibrant because he's excited. He loves books. Now, the townspeople, on the other hand, they're grayed out, just like Mars was before he found the building with the books. Mars shares with the townspeople and as in this illustration, we can see the little boy who has changed. He's vibrant, he has color, because he actually has a book in his hand. Our next major event is Marsh begins to write his own story. He started writing on his story, but after all his books and things were destroyed, he stopped writing. Now that he's in a building full of books and he's vibrant again, he decides that he's going to start writing his own story again. Next, Morris, Morris spent days, months, weeks, years on this book and he finally finishes his book. that it was time for him to move on. He had accomplished what he wanted to do, and that was to write his own story. So, our fifth major event is where Morris decides that he's going to move on. Now, the books were sad that Morris was moving on because he had been taking care of them for so many years. He had taken care of these books so long that Morris was old. He was an old man. But when he decided to move on and he left the books, Morris flew away with some books. And when he did, his whole appearance changed. Morris became a young man again. Which leads us to our next major event in the story, which is the sixth major event. This little girl walks up to the library just like Morris did and peeked her head in. She was fascinated by what she saw. And just like with Mars, a book came flying up to her. And lo and behold, the book that flies to the little girl is the book that Mars wrote. The little girl starts to read Morris's book. She's excited. She's full of life. And what she does is she begins to see after the same books that Morris were looking after before he decides to move on. So as we can see in this story, the whole story itself with the sequence of events, with the character contributions, is that reading connects people. And that's what it did. It connected Mars to the lovely lady. It connected the lovely lady to Mars, who in turn gave Mars a new book. It also connected Mars and our character contributions to the townspeople 
who were not full of life, who didn't know anything about the books, who didn't know about reading. And he brought color and joy to them through reading. Which also gave Mars a chance to kind of pass on the torch to the little girl who wandered her way into the same building that he wandered into and started taking care of the same books that Mars took care of. So, I think that we've accomplished our objective. We have put our major events in sequence. We have started from the front of the book and made our way to the back of the book. And we've also established a central message in this story, which is a lesson that we will do later on this week. That reading and books bring people together and connect them.